Welcome everybody. Today we're going to solve another medium SQL problem and it is the pads. The pads is a problem where you really have to read the task and you have to be careful really how your result in the end is looking like because you have to write a sentence. But let's start from the beginning. Generate the following two result sets. Query and alphabetically ordered list of all names and occupations, immediately followed by the first letter of each profession as a parenthetical, i.e. enclosed in parentheses. For example, an actor name, a doctor name, a professor name, and a singer name as. Second, query the number of occurrences of each occupation and occupations. Sort the occurrences in a scanning order and output them in the following format. They are a total of occupation count occupation s dot where occupation count is the number of occurrences of an occupation in occupations and occupation is the lower case occupation name if more than one occupation has the same occupation count they should be ordered alphabetically okay let's first write down what we have to do so we have two result sets that we have to get so we make output, then the first one. In the first one, we should alphabetically order list of all names and occupations. So we need name. Condition order by alphabetically means order by name. So our query an alphabetically ordered list of all names and occupations immediately followed by the first letter of each profession as a parenthetical okay name and then the professions we get with occupation okay first letter of occupation okay so an actor name a doctor name a professor name any more conditions for example, okay, I think that was it for the first one. Then the second one. Vary the number of occurrences of each occupation in occupations. So number of occurrences of each occupations. So the number we have to count the occupation. How often does it happen? And we should do it for each occupation. So we count the occupation and we group it by also occupation because we should do it for each occupation. And output them in the following format. There are a total of occupation count, occupation as dot. So output this sentence. Condition. What are conditions where occupation count is the number of occurrences of an occupation? Okay, and occupation is the lower case occupation name, the lower case. Okay, so we make lower case occupation. If more than one occupation has the same occupation count, they should be ordered alphabetically. So, but first we should sort them, the occurrences in ascending order. So, order by, actually the first condition st standing here at the top, sort the occurrences in ascending order. Order by occupation, no, actually occurrences count from occupation. So it says how often does it happen? That is the first order. The second order by. And they should be ordered alphabetically. So after occupation. 
So let's first start with the first column. Select, what do we want? We want the name. Very an alphabetically ordered list of all names in occupation, immediately followed by the first letter of each profession. Okay, select name. The first letter, how do we get the first letter? We have a left command where we can give only a part of the whole string. So we want the occupation, but we only want one letter. So we make left and then we write one. From table is called occupations. So let's run this one. Okay, so we have the name and we have the first letter. But the first letter should be in parentheses. Like here in the result. So what we can do actually here is a concat function. Concat and combine. So first we take open we open it up then comma then we write the occupation comma and we close it again and this way we can put the parentheses let's see if it works okay that looks pretty good so are there any more condition in the first one yes order by name okay from occupations order by name run it again okay so that looks good we still have a like a break here between the name and the letter we don't have this we don't see this break here so probably that should not be separated columns there should be one column what can we do to make it one column? We take the name away here and we write concat and we write the name in the concat. First the name, then the comma, opening up, then the occupation, the first letter, and then closing it again. Let's run it like this. Yes, that looks now very close and it looks like the result set here. Okay, now the second result below this. Select, so what do we want? Vary the number of occurrences of each occupation and occupations. Okay, the number is count from occupation. From occupations. See how this goes. So let's put this query aside for a moment and let's just try the second one here like count from occupation from occupations so now we just have one number 18 because he's just counting the total of them and now, now what should we count we should count of each occupation like we wrote here occupation so we have to make the count from occupation for each occupation. So we write occupation as the second column. And we have to group it always when we have an aggregate, like count, it's also an aggregate. We have to group the other column, group it by occupation. Let's run this one again. Now we should get it for each occupation. There we got it. Four actors, three doctors, seven professors, and four singers in the table. Okay, great. We already have the hardest part figured out. Now we just have to try to put this four actors into this sentence. There are a total of two doctors, there are a total of two singers, and the order by should be actually by the count of occupation. Let's try to make the sentence first. So to make the sentence, we are using the concat function again, like before, concat, 
from and first use a sentence there are a total of then use the count comma count from occupation make this one big for now to make it better visible there are a total of count from occupation and what comes after this? They are total of, uh, of, we also need here one more space of the count. Then we need a space again after the count. And then we need the occupation. So a comma and occupation. Let's delete this once. And let's see what the concat function brings here. Okay, that looks pretty good. There are a total of four actor. There are a total of three doctor. Okay, so now we also had another condition. What was the condition? Order by count from occupation. So we have to order by the count and the second order by the occupation because it has to be alphabetically. So the, here it is after the count, but ascending. So the smallest count first, and then it gets bigger. Okay, order by is always the last command. Order by count from occupation. Let's run this one. Okay, great. Now we have the smallest one here, three, two, seven, the biggest one. So what else is looking different? There are a total of two doctors. So we have an S and a dot in the end. So let's put this one also. Occupation, comma, the strings, and then S dot. Let's run this one again. There are a total of three doctors. Yeah, that looks better already. Ah, we also have to order it alphabetically. We can see here we just have four, four one time the case that we have it even and then it already is ordered alphabetically a and then comes the s but just to make it complete we also write it here the second order should be occupation okay now nothing changed but we have it here so what else is different? There are a total of three doctors. So if you look closely, you can see that actually we still are missing one condition and that is that should be lowercase. Where do we write it? We wrote it here, the condition lowercase occupation. So all the, of these occupations are in lowercase. And for that, we can just use the command lower, pretty simple, just lower. And now it should look exactly the same as before. There are a total of three doctors. And here, there are a total of two doctors. Okay, the names, obviously the numbers can be different, but that looks pretty much the same. Okay, now we have also the second query ready. Now we only have to do the combination of the first and the second one. So now we have the second one. Here we saved the first one from before. And now we have to combine it. Let's see, we have the solution. And there we have it. And that was it for this video. Thank you.